Yes. What are these? Hold on. Um, those are stiletto coffin. Stiletto or you can put them as just stiletto. She looks cute, huh? Fuck yeah, ring on. What the fuck? Because put she. Put a ring on that. Me. Do I have all my lights on? Yeah, I do. Hello. Hello, my friends. Welcome back. Welcome back. And for my little YouTube channel, because they're going to be watching this later. Welcome back to my little channel. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are not subscribed to my channel. And for my TikTok, for real, the one that's watching right now. If you guys are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, what you waiting for, honey? I know you guys are watching live in action, but you guys can go watch other videos that you've missed on there. Hello, Noemi. Hola, Lizzie. Hey, Portia. How long? Uh, we just started. So I'm just going to gently file the, the little edges here. Maybe I should use my machine because a girl, Lord, I cannot function with my nails. Nah, just kidding. I could function. I'm just acting dumb right now. All right, welcome guys, welcome. Where's my electric filer? I swear once I hit live on my on my YouTube channel, it's like I can't find, I mean, on my TikTok, it's like everything else hides. Like everything that I need is not available for me. Like it's on purpose. Like it do that, it do that. So, how are my friends doing? Hopefully, this electric file is charged. Nope, it ain't. It's super dead. You fucking file. Where are you? I just charged you, you bitch. No, pues, wow. No, pues, wow. I'm just gonna put it there then. Fucking okay, hand fire it is. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was because I was charging my phone or what, but how's the live? So the other day I went to work, guys, and I scratched the shit out of my nails. I have two different, like I scratched all my nail here. I scratched some of my bling. That's why I never really put bling on this finger. Um... Yeah, so today we're going to be using Nicole. I think this is her name. Do you guys want to give her a different name or do you guys like Nicole? So I'm thinking I'm going to use number 109, which is a very pretty color. I swatched it yesterday here for a video. How's my lighting? I feel like we're looking a little darker today. I'm not sure if it's the... Or maybe it's just my phone. I don't fucking know. We like Nicole brighter. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this is the color, the solid color. It is darker, right? I wonder why. Is it because she's down here? What about now? Now she looks brighter? Hey, choopy choopy. Hey, does it look brighter now if I hold her up? No. The same shit. All right. Well, let me see how this clamp works exactly. All right. Let me see if I can move this clamp. Why not keep the flash on? We see, don't get me wrong. It's the room light. Well, my lighting is actually the same. So normally, I guess, I honestly think it's the way I position the hand because I normally have all these lights all the time, but for some reason, it looks darker today. All right, ma'am. 
You don't reach. It's like, I wonder where Paige is. She hasn't. I know. Where is she? Okay, well, I'm just going to try to keep it here. I feel like the lighting looks good so far. So I'm going to be using number 109. Let me show you. Oh, Paige, girl, where you been at? We were just talking about you. I'm going to be using my Smooth Set Monomer. And I'm going to be picking a glitter. Or maybe you guys can help me pick so we can... Um, you guys could feel like you're part of the club, which you are, but, um, I'm going to be trying to keep it somewhat simple because we need to give designs for simple gals too. <laughs> Use pumpkin. I actually have pumpkin pie on my, on my table right now. So I already pre-chose the colors. So I'm just going to show them to you real quickly. So one of my options is chameleon number three. Is this a red iguana? Yes, this is their new ones. Their new collection of hands, which is, I think they call it a 3.0. They will be releasing tomorrow. And um, this one is in shade Nicole. So this one is called, hold on, let me look under there. I get confused. Yams. So this one is Yams. I have a similar color named Tangerine. But this one is the chunky one. And then Fall is in the air. No, so they do they did give me a discount code. So if you guys ever want to shop there, they have more than just hands, but um the hands are always a must, you know. For people who don't really do clients, you just want to practice. They have fingers too. Um, you guys can use just code Zule. Just Zule, not Zule. No, it's just Zule. This one is Chai Spice in glitter form. I'm so excited to already do fucking fall. I was even thinking doing one nail each color just for fun. Why not? For my cafecito collection, maybe I'll do it on myself. And these are not even all the colors, yo. I have so many. This one is called Pumpkin Pie. I have a lot of shades of fall that look not similar, similar, but like a shade off. So, like, you can have all kinds of shades of fall. Let's see. Maybe I should swatch the colors so I could get an idea. I've really, where do you get your hand from? It's from Red Iguana. Red Iguana. So let's see. I think I'm going to use Chai Spice actually. um, Just to give it a little contrast. I don't want it to be too matchy matchy. That one I think would look nice. Or even the, um, what is it called? The... Fall is in the air. So which color would you like to see? Fall is in the air, which is this one. Yams. <laughs> Let's see espresso. Oh, I do have it here, actually. I was just using it. I was... um. Look, so espresso, the glitter version, is this one. So it's like a brown holographic. Yams. Poll. Okay. So I'm going to do a poll for today's video. It's either going to be um, yams. Man, you fucking bitches. I wanted to do something different. Okay. So we're going to do yams or we'll do chai spice, which is this one. Okay. I would save you for later. Okay, so we're going to vote for yams, happy face. And um, if you want me to do chai spice, you do the sad face or the crying face. Okay, ready, set, go. Let me go vote for mine. Oh, oh shit, what happened? What happened, honey? Oh, shit, that's Instagram. Oh, how cute. 
I'm going to do the crime face. Because I'm going to do that one try spice. Come on, guys. What? You guys want me to do fucking yams? You hoes? <laughs> oh, my God. Chai, chai, chai. <clears throat> oh, the, the reddish pink one. That one is called Fall is in the Air. It's one of my new favorites. But I want to try it with a different shade, like a nude color. Like a cafecito color, for sure. Man, fucking bitches. I didn't want to show you guys yams because I knew you guys were going to choose that one. Fine, yams wins. I'm going to try falls in the air some other time of the week. Eventually, we'll get to all the colors. But today, we're going to do something for my simple ladies and hang out at the same time. I know, chai spice is so pretty. Maybe I'll throw it in a finger. Who knows? All right. So, again, we're going to use yams because half these bitches <laughs> do what you want, Zule. We like anyway. I know, but I like to ask for you guys' opinion. And most of the time, I I listen, you know, and then sometimes I'm a little rebel and I don't. I was going to do my nails tonight, but you're live, so I'll just watch your live. Girl, you could do your nails and hang out. I can't do nothing crazy today on this fake hand because my ass needs to go to work tomorrow. Boss. Yes. Um, These are the Stellar Coven. All right, so we're going to start off with the middle finger. And I'm going to do that one solid. Shit, I voted for the wrong one. I, Lexi, I hope you voted for, for Chai Spice. So again, this color right here that I'm using is number 109. Shit, I voted for the wrong one. Mm. Por qué? Again, this is number 109. It is under the, I think the fall colors? I don't remember, but I already added this one along with other solid colors um, that will be great for the fall. So now I could do one bean method, guys. Ooh, honey, look at me. Portia, are you watching? You watching? I just kidding. I I not I can't get all the way to the bottom. I always run out of product. I feel like I don't know how much how big my nail is yet. But this color does dry a little bit slower than the ones I've been using. Um but because it's hot as fuck, it's drying not fast at all. But just fast enough, I guess, you know? Come on, finger, get out. <laughs> so if you guys need a little time to work with the products, these colors are perfect for you. So look, I could work it up if I wanted to, and it's still giving the rest of the bead time to start setting. So if you guys ever press the nail and the acrylic moves like it doesn't stay where you want it to is because it's not ready for you to start patting or dragging and right here is more than ready and again in the winter time it's going to um dry a lot slower so you have to be a little bit more patient some acrylics dry faster than others some dry slower just gotta learn to use them Y'all, I got my cafecito collection. Can nobody tell me nothing? Ooh, I was actually going to use them today, but I was like, no. We need some orange because we need to get Lori onto the orange train. Lori, you in here, girl? Hi, beautiful. Sorry, I missed a couple of your TikToks. I was on a cruise. No worry, Martha. We're glad you're okay. Welcome back. How's your trip? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I'm just going to go into the Kirika. And again, this is number 109. 
is that the mannequin hen or a real person? It's a, her name is Nicole. Mannequin. No, don't tell them. It's, it's Nicole. Do you have a core color collection or just individual? Oh, I mean color. Um, yes, we do have a whole color collection and we also have them individual. Ooh, you drank and danced a lot. That's good. That's good, honey. Glad you had fun. I've never been on a cruise and I don't think I could ever be on a cruise. I'm scared of water. Y la tóxica y anda la way. Toxica is right here in the back. We just giving um, Nicole a, a warm welcome. And we need to have some darker skin homegirls here. Actually, I want to make this one like a Latina or something because she is slightly darker. I feel like this should not be a Nicole. This should be like Azule. And Loki, she kind of be like my skin tone, huh? And then I have Toxica. Call her Lupe. <laughs> Lupita, te relajas haciendo neo. Sí, por eso siempre ando aquí chismeando because... I really enjoy doing nails. It's really relaxing and therapeutic to me. But when I'm at work, I get a little stressed out. So if you guys see any nails that are crooked, I do apologize. I do crooked nails sometimes. Maria. We just started, Stephanie. Este middle finger como que está chuex. La amiga aquí tiene los dedos chuex. Se las puse chuequitas. Oh, well. Call her refu <laughs> refugio. Te pasas. Hold on, guys. Let me turn on the AC. I'm fucking sweating. <sighs> Alexa, what's the weather like right now? The current weather is 76 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies. 70. Okay, there. Shut up. Enough. Enough. Alexa, shut the fuck up. Just ask for the weather, not the whole fucking information. Name her Maria or Esmeralda. Huh, Maria. We should just name her Maria. There's a lot of Marias. Maria. Agustina. La Chupi Chupis. This hand is from RedIguana.com. I think it's .com. Let me see if I can find the paper she gave me. It's actually right here. This is their Instagram. TikTok. Red Iguana. Underscore Iguana. Discount code Zule. To save. To save some shmoney. Okay. Okay. I'm going to get some nude. Pancracia. Ay, pobrecita. So I'm going to be using Cover Pink Nude for the nude. This one does dry slower, so I'm going to hold it in my brush a little bit longer. And that is an 8 ounce. The taps are fast again. I love it. The what? The tapping? All right, guys. Tap, tap, tap. Yo tengo para hacer... Nails, pero no me gusta gastarlo en las monas. Ay, traviesa, no seas coda, ándale. Si no, si no practicas, ¿cómo vas a mejorar, amiga? Tú nomás no compres cosas muy caritas y úsalas en las pinches monas. Who cares? Si no tienes clientas, yo prefiero usarlos en la pinche mona que una clienta que no quiere pagar. Fuck that. You know, so what I just said is I'd rather use my products on a fake hand than on a client who don't want to pay a client who got attitude, a client that ain't sitting straight. Fuck that shit. I'd rather 
I'd rather go live on TikTok or just record, have some fun, make some content at home on a fake can than on a person who's leaning like a chola in the fucking chair stressing me out. Because sometimes they don't even have to open their mouth to stress you out. Just with their their energy, you know? Sometimes people have energy even though they're like, they could be the happiest person in the world. But, mm -mm, honey. So this one's going to be a V French. I'm just trying to make it slim as shit because I want it to have color. She does have a slim finger, so she's going to have a slim V. Am I able to take my bin back? Yeah, you can. Ugh, you know what? I hate when they get sleepy. Why? I like it. Low-key, that's good. You're relaxing them. They're trusting you and shit. I like how you read the comments. Like how they mean it? Like, uh, tone, yeah. I need to like read it correctly. Mm -hmm. Is that a real person's hand? No, ma'am. This is her original shade name this is, is a real person's hand. Yeah. Her original name on the website is called Nicole. <laughs> but we're gonna call her um what did I say I was gonna call her? Maria. I feel like I'm taking forever, that's why. Uh, Maria. Maria, Maria. The, lady, the ladies want chupi chupi versus necks. I seen it on. Oh, and V necks. Yes, 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 yes. So I did. I ended up ordering. Well, I'm going to order both. Uh, I decided I'm going to do a few of the t shirt style. And they're not really going to be your typical t shirt. They're more like fitted for girls you know but they're not v-necks so hopefully you guys like and if you don't then too bad you're gonna have to wait till next round if there's a next round but Zule's not loaded like that so i couldn't get too many um i think i chose four designs to start off and let's see when we get them i still haven't paid yet so it ain't that fast okay no V-necks, gotta hide my tattoos. Ay, Jimena, tu enseña. Pa que te los pusiste entonces? No vas a enseñar. Zulation. <laughs> Have you done red bottom nails? I've done them on my clients, but not on Maria yet. I personally don't really care for the red bottoms. They're a pain in my ass. Too much work for... Mm, I don't know. Just in my opinion. So I'm going to try to make the V French a little thicker so I can file them. My mom doesn't know just yet. Hija de tu pinche madre, cabrona. Pues que dice el pinche tatu. Chupi, chupi. Chupi, chupi right here. Y tiene una little arrow, ¿verdad, Jimena? Are you using the regular hand? Non-posable? Yeah, this one is non-posable. So, in a way, I kind of like the posable, and I'm also using their magnetic clamp. Um, it's working pretty darn good. I just wish it moved a little forward, more forward, um, but I guess this is good enough. I do have it on a glass table, so maybe that's why it's holding up better, because um, Paige was telling me that her clamp didn't hold on, so I'm not sure if it matters on your... On what kind of, um, what is it called? What kind of fucking, fucking, you fucking, hmm. What kind of table you have? Okay, so next I'm going to use yams. I'm going to do it on one nail. So fucking gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Like, I wish there was a settings for her to open her hand or put her fingers down like regular clients do, you know? Like, man, put your finger down, please. 
is getting in the way, okay? Look at this color, honey. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. Is there an inspo pick? No, there's no inspo pick. We're just winging it. We're not doing anything crazy today. We're trying to keep it simple because I read a comment on one of on my YouTube earlier. One of my viewers was like, delay. Pretty much, why are you always covering up your shit? <laughs> and I was like, girl, because I can't be simple. But you know who could be simple? My fake hand. That's who. So, I know some of you guys like simple things. So, I was like, all right. Let me let me go do a little live. Keep it a little simple just for chit-chats and to um and to kind of um tease you guys on these orange shades. Lori is not in here, huh? So, this set is um dedicated to Lori. She may not be in here, but she doesn't really like orange tones. But I told her that my goal was to make her fall in love with fall. Fall colors. She says she likes fall tones, just not orange. So to me, I love orange. I feel like it looks like pumpkin pie. Like I just want to drink a pumpkin, a pumpkin drink now just don't have one all right so i guess my only complaint about these hands is they don't fold their finger but i guess this works huh i love orange especially the darker tones um i feel like i started to fall in love with them as i got a little older because maybe two years ago i would have been like oh i don't like those shades or like dull colors, like, oh, they're so bleh. But ever since I started creating glitters for like fall, I feel like I've started to like them even more. Because, yeah, they're a little dull. Like, they're not bright. But bitch, in glitter form, girl, they can be shiny. So I like to go slowly with my glitters. Because, again, I don't apply a lot of product. As you guys can see, I'm grabbing a little bit at a time. Um, the reason why I do that is because, how do you call it? I don't want to build up my nail with glitter or with a color acrylic. I always just apply a thin layer and then I encapsulate the rest because you don't want to use up all your products. So I'm going to turn my hand sideways and you guys will see how thin the application is. And... It's super pigmented with glitter, like not pigmented, but it's saturated with the glitter, but it doesn't have too much glitter where it's not workable, you know? So I kind of strive to make perfect, almost perfect glitter formula so that you don't need too much, too much product, but still achieve a, a full coverage application with very little, you know? You know what I mean? Because I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but especially on shorter nails, um, when you apply like it doesn't happen with all all glitters, but some of them do that when you file into them, they turn silver. So that way, if your application is thin, you won't file into your your design. Bomb. Oh, my gosh. I have a fucking sweater that I just bought that's going to be bomb 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 so i think i'm gonna do an ombre and the pinky i really need more of this color i just don't know if i should do ombre with this one and that one or nude and hmm. beautiful so cute <clears throat> I don't know why, but I be feeling a little stuffy today. All three. Yams and pumpkin. I don't have pumpkin. Oh, you mean the, the solid color? All right, ma'am. So I think I'm going to do... Ooh, I know. I could do like... 
I don't know what's up with me and marbles lately, but... Can you ombre all three? Fine. Yes, I can. I was going to do a marble, but that sounds even better. So I guess I will do um, the glitter at the tip. I think I got glitter in here. Like, ma'am, get out. I'll do the glitter at the tip. In here and hand with Zuliation. What? What'd you say, Paige? Sorry, guys. I was, um... I hope you feel better. Oh, what's wrong with her? I'm over here being a chismosa, but not 100% chismosa. What orange acrylic is this? This one is number 109. So, let me see if I have the colors around here, actually, or did I take them to the salon? Um, <clears throat> maybe I took them to the salon, but we have a few colors on the website already that are um, fall. Excuse me. I think I took them to the fucking salon. Oh, no, they're right here. Wait. Are they here? No. No, 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 no. No, I don't know where they're at. But check it out. Let's see, they're probably in here. So look, at this one is also like a nice fall color. This one is number 122. This one is number 16. Oh, actually, that one sold out last year really fast. So I'm going to add that one again. No, I don't think I have it in here, actually. But check out these other colors that I'm going to be adding to the store. I don't know if I have them on there. Maybe like in November. Honey. Ooh, so pretty. So many colors. And then look, check it out. This is not what I was looking for, but I have all the chameleons here. So pretty. Number one through 14, I think. So beautiful. I want to use the chameleon colors as well. Eventually, I just don't have enough fingers. So I can't find the the ring that I wanted to show you guys. But um, there's another color. I just can't remember the number that is similar to this one. So I try to get shades that are somewhat similar, but just slightly lighter or darker, you know, because... You're always going to have that one client or maybe that client is yourself where you're like, oh, I wish this color was a little lighter or a little darker. So those are the colors that I try to to bring to my collection because I know I have those fucking clients that just wish the color was slightly darker, or slightly lighter. Oh, Zule, pray that I feel better. On gloss drip nails. I hope you feel better. I don't know what you have, pero vamos a rezar por ti, okay? Looks like candy corn. Candy corn. Um, this brush that I'm currently using is a number 16 Kalinsky. It is from my website. Everything that I'm using today is available on my website except the hand. That one is from Ready Guana, and the rings are from Yia Accessories. Game up. I thought that was a glamour hand, right? They're like hand on hand. I was like, okay. I'm Nicole. If you guys think this one is realistic, hold on. Let me show you guys the other one. So I think what makes them look a little bit more realistic too Apart from the little indentations on our hands, but the painted color. Hold on. I I chose this one. Hold on. Hold on, honey. I originally chose this one. Her name. I forgot her fucking name. I in my YouTube video I posted the names, but this one looks 
a little bit more chubby like Zule. Her little cuticles look like kind of puffy like she has an allergic reaction. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But your acrylic application I feel like is going to look flush in there. So I'm really excited to use this one too. So look at the little creases. Um, it even has a little vein thing right here. So cute. And it has a little bit of painting. Every time it says 16, she uses her 24. Every time I say 24, she uses... <laughs> Sorry, Paige. I jumped back and forth. That's why. Zule, you were scared on your first live? Hell yeah. I didn't like to go live in the beginning. Because I was afraid for people to see my imperfections of stuff, you know? My flaws or whatever the fuck. Like, I feel like that's what we all fear because people gonna fucking judge you no matter what, whether you do good or you do bad. Boss. Mm. Uh, we're noticing that these are coming like this. Like, what? Is that normal? Like all these fives and six? Oh, I think those are extras. Yeah, they're extras like like refills. So, we sell the little I coffin know, refills. I know, but... I did a live one time on IG swatching colors and I was shaking in my boots. I don't know why. It's because, so the reason why we get embarrassed to do lives is because it's live, bitch. If you fuck up, if you fart, you sneeze and you pee on yourself. Nah, it's kidding. They can't see if you pee, but like if you fuck up, they're going to judge you. Like, girl, we risking that people are gonna judge us like oh my god her nail is crooked oh my gosh she's a slow ass bitch look at her it's been five minutes and she's still on the same nail oh my god look at the way she holds her brush oh my god da -da 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 -da. you know but who gives a fuck yes i put crooked nails yes I, i'm a fucking slow ass hoe yes i've been on this fucking nail for five minutes bitch who cares <laughs> But as long as you know that you you are like that and you don't have a problem with it, you should be fine. Like nobody is perfect, okay? No one. You can do great work, but you have to trust the process. That's one thing that I always tell my clients and they totally trust me. I don't think I have any client at the moment that don't trust me that they'll be like, what the fuck is she doing? Like I could give you some humpty dumpty ass fucking nails because sometimes the acrylic just dries way too fast sometimes and you don't expect it, right? Especially in the summer. Or XYZ, you're encapsulating shit, your client is moving like crazy. Whatever the case is, you're going to have lumpy, lumpy, dumpy nails or whatever, lumpy, humpy, whatever the fuck. But once the filing comes through, you're going to perfect them. So, que te valga verga. If you go live and people talking shit, who cares? As long as you are happy at what you're doing. And trust me, TikTok is toxic as fuck. I, that was one of the reasons why I didn't want to go live on TikTok. Because I would go on to other people's like comment section. And um, see the comments. And I would see how negative people would be. Not just to nail text, but just in general. So I told myself, like, why would I want that in my life? Like, I don't want, I don't want negativity. Like, I want to be positive. So you have to invite positive into your life. So most of the time, like now, you guys, if you guys come here often, you see there's not a lot of negativity because we have a whole little squad Nice. <laughs> a little squad of blockers of my moderators, aka moderators that will um nip it, right? But I feel like as long as you fight back a little bit sometimes or you just let them talk, they will not they won't continue to bother you. Like I don't think I've really ever experienced anything crazy like other people have in their comment section. But it's like Felicia bye. I ain't gonna let myself the so just do it just do it and 
And so somebody did ask, I, I read it earlier before, um, well, while I was in my topic here, when I just started on TikTok early this year, I only had 14 viewers, okay? And that's because I already had maybe like 3,000 friends in here. Um, That one's the same. It's the little coffin, yeah. These are real, like, full, like normal ones. Right? I don't know. It looks, yeah. Just double check it. Um, I only had like 15 viewers. I didn't have a lot. It took me a, a few attempts on going live. And I would get discouraged. But for me, I felt like it was harder to come live on TikTok. Because I was already used to having viewers on my Instagram. You know, I came from Instagram where I would have... 100 200 300 viewers sometimes um but i was blocked on instagram so i had no choice so i would come onto instagram and then i, I mean on tiktok and then i'll be sad because i had a small group but then i was like telling myself like zule your your profile is small how do you expect to have all these viewers you know so sometimes you have to remember like, okay, how many followers do you have? Do you not have a lot? Then you have to work from the bottom, honey. Like I did too when I started my TikTok. I did not have a lot of viewers and slowly they have grown. Even though my following grew, sometimes my views don't add up, but it's okay. People are going to be watching. Trust me, they will watch, but they will not comment. They will not like and i have came to to realize that's just the way my page works for some reason people like to watch all my pages they like to watch you watch you but they don't like you like you or come and come and they're just in the shadows but it's okay as long as they come and watch so if you guys have been wanting to start a live or whatever do it do it do it do it even if you have nobody watching you will practice talking to your fucking self. That's what you need to practice. Talking to yourself. Pretend somebody's asking you questions. Just fucking talk. Like nobody fucking asked me right now something. And, well, somebody did ask me and then it followed with more, more shit. I love the shadows. I comment sometimes. Yeah, and that's totally fine. Like I know that like I say all oh, fucking haters, but it's like I'm not being for real all the time. I have learned to understand that just some people just look and scroll. It's not because they're haters. It's not because they don't want you to know that they're they're watching you. Although some people are like that. But majority of people just scroll past. And I've seen it a lot while I'm working doing nails. My clients do that shit all the time. They could be on their Instagram or on TikTok and they're just scrolling. Like, look, and I'm like, bitch, you ain't going to like that shit, honey, but why don't you lie? So I even told my husband before, like, did you like it? Did you comment? And then he'd be like, no. And I'm like, why not? Do you watch that channel a lot? For example, on YouTube. And he'll be like, yeah. And I'm like, well, then show them some love. And so now he might not always comment, but he does give them a like and he watches the ads. So... If people don't like your shit, it's okay. But guys, try to show love. If you guys want people to show you some love, you got to return it. Okay? It's not just a one-way street. <clears throat> I scroll through it, but sometimes I know I show love. I fucking tap on everything. I give a heart to everything that comes through my path. Even if it's like, I don't fucking know, something weird. That I'm not really into. I still like it. My husband would get mad at me. Like why do you like everything? Like why not? Why not? But that's just me. I guess. I just want to. Um, return the love to strangers. Even though I don't know them. I feel like people don't understand. Until it's them. Yes definitely. Um, I think it was Gary V actually. Who said. Something that like that, like, um, I don't remember his exact words because I can't even remember my exact words. I forget. But the moral of the story was, if you want 
more people to interact with your content, you have to go and interact with content. Something like that. And then I was like, oh my God, he's right. Like, how am I over here expecting people to do this for me? But I don't even take the time of my day to go show somebody love. So the same with customers. Like I said in my previous video, how do you expect people to invest in you if you don't invest in yourself? So, so you know, just think about it. Think about it. You should do a orange. You treat others how you want to be treated. Yes. And a lot of people don't understand that still it's always me 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 always mean is like no honey if you want to be successful you want good to happen it can't just be you that's selfish you have to give to others and it doesn't have to be like with money or presents or physical things they could be different ways to give back People are always like, oh, my God, you responded. Like, of course I did. I'm no different than anyone. Show yes, exactly, Portia. I get that all the time. And I'm like, what do you mean? Other people don't respond to you? But then also some people are way more busy. I mean, not saying that we are not busy, but they have other things. Like, I know there's some people that have assistance for their pages. Um, not judging them or nothing. I wish I had an assistant, but I feel like I still want to respond. You know, like once I messaged, um, I don't remember who it was, but it's a nail tech, mm, like a bigger nail tech. And then I was like, oh my God, you responded to me. Da -da 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 -da. So then I come to find out she don't even read her own DM. So she didn't even know I messaged her. It was her assistant who responded to me. And I was like, wow, I got hella excited that she responded. And it wasn't even her. Because later on, she told us that she don't respond to her messages. I was like, Zam, I thought I was talking to you, honey. <laughs> so I was like, oh, man, I don't think I could ever do my followers like that. I need to respond to them. And then two, I think it's funny how some people try to give me attitude, like when they email me or email my business or text me. And then when they realize that it's me texting them, they're like, oh, shit, like, hi, Zelay. like their whole attitude changes. Like, honey, you were just almost cussing me out here. What happened? Like, don't do that. You do not disrespect or mistreat other people. Me, when you first responded to me and added me, I was like, oh my God, I'm friends with a famous person. And you're funny, Nancy. I'm not even famous. Apenas llegué. Oh my God, I know. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I don't remember who it was. It's been a while. I was like, oh. But it wasn't like nothing rude or nothing like that. Just some people share their responsibilities with others. I don't trust people. If not, I would have an assistant commenting in sheet. So I'm not really going for like a full apex on these nails. I'm just trying to make them pretty smooth. Yes, you really is though. It's a pleasure being friends. Aw, thank you, Nancy. I try to respond to everybody. Some people, how to call it, um, they get more excited than others, which is cute. You know, like when you guys be like, oh my God, Zelie. Or like this girl, She, I think she felt like she almost fainted when I was responding to her. Um, I could feel it through the screen. <laughs> and uh, so I sent her um, a voice, I mean, a video of me and she had her little baby. And I was like, oh my God. And she's like, oh my God, Zelie. She like hella fucking was so excited. I was like, oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. I felt like a whole little celebrity and shit. I was like, okay, ma'am. Me had to mando una selfie. 
All right, hold on. I'm going to cover this really fast so I can um, file the, the V. Is it easier and better to practice on this kind of hand than the plastic one? Yes, Yvette. These practice ones are way better because they kind of move a little bit more. And then you can pull the nails out. Look it. And the practice ones, the plastic ones, you can't. All right, so I'm going to kind of file the nail. Paige, be like, you're responding to comments 20 minutes ago? Like, yes, I tried to respond to everyone. I I try to do that too, but sometimes I can't. So I do apologize if you guys ever leave me a comment, asking me a question or something. Um, But sometimes I just can't get to them. Especially if it's like three days later, like... Honey, we have moved on that post. <laughs> we not there yet no more. Laughing my ass off. Yeah, I'm like, that was 30 minutes ago, Portia. <laughs> That's funny. That's how you grow a family page. You had to respond. Pageation. You have to respondation. So I'm just trying to file it a little pointy. Lo a mí nunca me contestas porque PayPal me canceló una orden. ¿Qué? Gio Ramírez, ¿qué pasó, amiga? Yo les contesto a todas cuando puedo. Nomás no me men manden mensaje en el Instagram porque... So, it's not that I don't respond to people on Instagram. is I have a lot of messages. So, we're not friends. You will be sent to a request folder. And right there, they get scrambled, okay? I love my YouTube family. Uh-huh. Yeah, so, si me mandan message en el Instagram, en veces no encuentro los mensajes porque se van a un... ¿Cómo se llama? A un folder. Yeah, I don't really look in that folder, to be honest. Hice una orden y Pepa me la canceló. And I sent you a message y nunca me respondiste. Gio Ramírez. Ah, no sé, amiga. ¿En dónde me mandaste mensaje? ¿En el Instagram? I just ordered my sending bag. Can't wait. Yes. Si me la mandaste en el Instagram, no veo todos los mensajes. Tengo demasiados ahí. I'm struggling with shaping. Oh my God. I started watching Zule on YouTube first. Then she recreated the pink zebra. Oh, yes, honey. Yeah, it looks like a real hand, huh? But it's not tricked you. I struggle shaping C curve. Oh, I have a video specifically for that on my YouTube channel. Go check it out. Literally, just for filing secret now. Go check out my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is Zoo Lace Nails. Did you discontinue the little triangle pointy charm you used in a black and white set you did a while back? Huh, I don't know which one you're talking about. Black and white. Are you sure that was me? That doesn't sound like something I would do. Same. Someone told me, oh, que la se movió, se movió. I said, not word, son. Yes, it was. Mm. Send me, send me a picture. Send me a text. My phone number is on my Instagram. How do you get all the dust off the silicone hand? You just have to wash it. She said a while back, so maybe the old you did. <laughs> Ooh, that's funny. For real, huh? <laughs> I call you my son because you shine like one book. Paige, you funny, girl. You funny, honey. Wait, is that a real person? No, this is a fake hand. Her name is, her original name is Nicole, but we adopted her to a Maria. 
María, María. What if I do half and half? You did some Frenchies that were half black and half white with a 3D flower on one of them. Ooh, mm, hmm. You're going to make my brain hurt. You I feel like I remember them, but then I don't. Oh, I know. I did it on a client, huh? Did I do it on a client? Oh, wait, wrong fucking color. I'm going to do half and half. If I did it on a client, Maria, I kept putteria. I kept putteria. <laughs> What's the easiest way to do application on the cuticle? I'm having a hard time. Um. Oh, shit. Just try to point your finger down. And learn your product first because if you don't know how fast and or slow your acrylic dries, you won't you won't master your cuticle application. Um, so just practice that and always point it down. What brand is the hand? It is from Red Iguana. This is a half hand. These will be available for purchase tomorrow. Please pull the nail again. What? These nails are ready, Zule. They cute, huh? Yeah, so these hands will be available tomorrow on readyguana.com. Um, this one is the half hand in color Nicole, but we changed her name because we want to. We're calling her Maria. And... They did give me a discount code. If you guys wish to buy one, you guys can save 10% off with my name, Zule, Z-U-L-A-Y. Not Zule's nails, just Zule. Keep it short and simple, honey. Where's the brush from? My brush is from my website is number 16. Numero 16. I'm literally counting the hours to get the new hand. What time does it release? Definitely worth it. I recommend. I'm not sure if they're all magnetic or not. Um, but this half hand is magnetic. Um, the full hand is not, but it does have a little hole. I recommend to get the magnetic one and get the stand. So far, I am really digging the stand. I have had a stand before, not from them, but how to call it? I think Lori was the one who sent me it, but it would come off like it would clip or the hand will fall. And it was just like not the business, but this one is stained. They have the magnetic stand and the magnet is pretty damn strong. The half and half gets me every time, right? It looks cute. I, I was not thinking of doing that. I didn't do it like super perfect, which is cool because I always cover it anyway with something. Um, My tutorial for my nails is coming to my YouTube channel. I am trying to pose them as fast as I can, but giving them time in between. Time in between so that people can watch. So the stand is nothing crazy. Look, let me show you real quick. So the stand is right here. It's just clamped to my table. Look. Literally. Boop. So it has like six magnets in there, I think. And there's two magnets here. And you have to aim it correctly on the two magnets out of the six. So it could stay on real good. Like, literally it has not fell out of here so just play around with it if you do get it so let's see how it goes when i file um how do i get the nails off the hand you just pull them out like that and then you put in the nail like voila i'm using my smooth set monomer 
so interested to see how it does while filing well stay tuned so again let me show you guys how thin the application is now i'm just gonna encapsulate this um how much is the stand i don't know they gave it to me as a gift you would have to check on the website that's a very good question i have no idea how much it costs i don't even know if these hands the new ones are gonna be different priced um because the old version was 75 cookies for a uh, half hand i believe but i don't know if the new one's gonna be more expensive or not i don't know i didn't get that information you literally have the best vibe i feel you are family yes honey positive vibes only Positive vibes only. I am a senora, so definitely family. <laughs> Cookies means moolah, honey. We just cannot say the shmoney. The hand is not out yet. No, they told me, um, Yari's nails told me it was going to be released tomorrow. I don't know what day I'm in anymore, so they might have told me in the email and I forgot. You still be cooking from the website, Zulay? Huh? Cooking? What do you mean? Like with my little clay? My little 3D gel, I mean? I literally got so mad. I bling adhesive there. What? What? What happened, honey? Why are you mad? Oh, the... <laughs> the stand. That's what you're telling me, how that shift. That shit fucking funny. Oh, on my YouTube channel. No, we have not been cooking because if you mean on my YouTube channel, we haven't been cooking because Patrick started school and he's busy with his little homework. Oh, the Hello French. All right, let me clean my little brush real quick. Oh, no, I stopped with the HelloFresh early this year because I missed my enchiladas. I was missing my real food, like my Mexican food. <clears throat> All righty. So this is what the nails are looking like right now. They look perfect. I shouldn't even file them, but we are going to file them a little bit. All right. So, um, let's see. Let me zoom out a little bit. So, I did find some more of my curved files. Oh, shit. I forgot to restock them, actually. Um, I thought we were sold out of the packs, but my mother-in-law has been helping reorganize our workroom. And we did find a whole box full of these, 100 by 180. All my files are my favorite, but I really like these because of the curve. So if you guys like filing, um, hand filing, I do recommend these. You're less likely to like cut your client or whatever. Um, that's why you guys haven't seen me use them in a while because I didn't think we had any more. So I'm just going to... File the sides. Not realizing it only suction to glass. <laughs> You're funny, Paige. My YouTube channel is the same as my TikTok, Zoo Lace Nails. All my social medias are the same. Thankfully, I don't have to fight a bitch for nothing. I don't have to fight nobody for no name. Zule. Zule is not as common. Zule, you play. <clears throat> can you use a cuticle sanding, circle sanding bit after you apply application? Yes, you can. I normally use it, but I'm not going to use it today. I use it on myself for the most part. Do you stop filing once you notice you hit? I hit what? Um, You hit the side of the tip or just when it's straight. So you're not supposed to hit the tip. I just stopped filing here where the finger 
from the skin down I file right now. You don't want to get into the side walls because when they grow out, when the hand, I mean the nail grows out, you're going to see the nail, the nail sticking out. So never get into their side walls. So I hold my client's finger from here also to protect their little skin, you know? So if I file anybody, it's going to be my own hand, not the client. Although on the practice hands, I do file their fucking little skin here. So over time, you guys will start to see that because I know she can't feel it. I always wonder how people got so sharp and not cut them. Yeah, you have to protect your client's fingers. And then also when the nails are long, you want to hold on to their nail bed so it doesn't cause too much vibration because that does hurt when it goes, you know, back and forth, back and forth. So just something to keep in mind. Because that is not fun. <clears throat> Cutouts are hard for me. This color combo bomb. Thank you. I love fall. I wish I would have incorporated more nude, but again, we only have four fingers, so we can't do too much. Zulation gives us motivation. <laughs> that is fucking funny, Paige. That should go on a shirt, huh? That should be my slogan. <laughs> Zulation gives us motivation. Do you know the difference between the post? And the posable, oh, the posable on the regular hands, yes. The posable one has a wiring in the fingers. So when bent, the finger will stay like that. These don't, this one doesn't stay. That's the only difference. So like if I had the posable one, I could bend this finger and it would stay down. But it's not staying because it's not posable. Um, am I doing scoops anytime soon? Um, I may do them again on, in October, but I won't be, I'm only going to be doing October. That's it for November and December. I will, I don't think I will be doing any scoops as you know, holidays approach. And normally in the holidays, I do mystery boxes, which would be kind of similar to a scoop, but better, you know? They go based on your budget or your loved one's budget if they buy it for you. Um, <clears throat> and if you guys are new and you've never participated in a mystery box, I will talk about it more as the date comes closer. Hey, Zule, how was vacay? Vacay? I didn't go to vacay. I wish. No. <laughs> I went to Disneyland. Do Christmas and Halloween scoops next month. For real. I should include some Christmas ones, huh? Yeah, so in my... Oh, I'm also going to have a pop-up in November. So if you guys are here in California, you guys should come through. Come say hi. Get some nail stuff. Um... Yes, please. Um, For my mystery boxes, you get all the heavier items that we could not add to a scoop. Okay, let's see. Let me flip my friend. Excuse me. I was about to ask if you have the address yet. Not yet. But even if I did, I would not tell you guys yet until... Like a little bit before, only because the the address can change, you know. 
and it's gonna be a private place um i think like a residence in a neighborhood i mean so i wouldn't want to expose them like that in advance you know Um, I believe it is going to be in Pico Rivera. Sule, how much do your mystery box sell for? Um, we have different different prices. We had last year we had a 50 cookie one. Uh, I believe a hundred cookie one. Then it went up to I don't remember if it was 150 or 200 cookies, 500 cookies, different kinds. So I'm gonna be using my little pair. Hold on. What items will be at the pop-up? Um, I don't have an exact list of items, but for sure I'm going to be taking my bling adhesive because everybody always wants that. I'm going to be taking files, buffers, nail tips, monomer, acrylic, some gels. I'm going to be taking, did I say brushes? Pretty much what a lot of people normally want to buy. The Prep Trio. Um, and then if there's specific things that you want me to bring, I can definitely bring. But, of course, I cannot bring everything. I have too many items. So, I will only bring the popular stuff. Because last time that I had a pop-up... Oh, shit. I shaved me your whole finger. The last time I had a pop-up, um, this lady, well, one or two ladies kind of got mad at me because I didn't have what they wanted. But I was like, girl, you, you know, I have over 500 items. I can carry that. I can carry that with me. You can order that online. I, her ring fell. So I'm going to take the popular things and some things that are going to be um, either new and online doesn't have it yet, like some colors, you know, they could be exclusive or not just exclusive, but there'll be first dibs on some colors like that. All right. So I'm just going to file a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Does the butt have a name? Oh, the bit? Yes, that one is a cuticle bit. And it's called pear. It's a pear shape. It should be on their cuticle bit. And then this one that I'm using now is the extra fine bit. This one I remove scratches with. I normally use it to get into the cuticle as well. But like I was mentioning the other day, I forgot I had that bit. And I I started using it with one of my clients with long nails the other day at the salon. And I'm like, bitch, how come I haven't been using this on myself? Because the shaft of the bit is longer so it could reach longer nails. Normally I struggle with this bit because my nails are so long. So if you guys wear long, long nail, you guys should definitely consider, or even short nails, no matter, it helps you get into that cuticle good. Very, very good. And I'm just going to go in with this one a little bit more. I wish you make more half ounce acrylics in the future. Um, I actually do make half ounce acrylics, but for the most part, I only do them with collections. So normally the half ounce will come in collections in the beginning. As once they sell out, I don't bring them out anymore. And just for scoops. Other than that, I don't. I just love that you're able to work with their fabulous long nails. Ooh, would that bit fit the Koopa file? Yes, I'm actually using my Koopa file. This bit fits majority 
of electric files. The only file it won't fit is a Dremel from Home Depot. Nobody should be using those, okay, guys? Use a regular electric file, please. All my bits fit the standard electric file. Hi, Zulay. Hi, Lori. Where you been at, girl? We've been trying to summon you. Yeah, so I was having a conversation with a client because she was asking me. I forgot what the hell she asked me. But she was asking me if I had used something on a client before. And I was like, what the fuck? Hell no, like, just the way I would never buy a Dremel from the Home Depot. Like, some people do that. Like, yeah, it's cheaper, but girl, they're made for fucking... They're tools for, like, construction and shit like that, not for fucking nails. Oh, shit, my ring fell. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Like, ladies, stop trying to get cheaper shit to save a coin get what is like get the things that are made specifically for nails please they're for nails for a reason like no ma'am there's no way people out here using home depot drills girl trust me i've seen it like what the fuck you don't believe me but there there's people out there they'll do anything for that low low so don't be that nail tech please doing shit for the low low just to save a buck no nobody wants to go to you when you've been a cheap ass with your own products like honey you don't even want to invest in your business how do you want me to pay you for my service no 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 so if you've been a fucking coda with your supplies don't expect your customers to pay whatever you're asking for because obviously you don't want to invest to get better stuff. So why should they pay you for good shit when you don't got good shit? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? It goes both ways. Hi, Belinda. So when I do nails, I use acrylic from Walmart and I don't really know what are good. Girl, not from Walmart, please. You can go check the link on my bio. We have affordable affordable products okay you do not need to be shopping at walmart for nail stuff so i'm just filing the side a little bit because there was a little bit of acrylic there i know i was about to say walmart has acrylic what i know they have acrylic paints but all right so i'm just gonna file the tip These hands get me every time. Oh, the Kiss Acrylics. Okay, this is the only thing that I may have to say. It's going to be hard. Oh, shit. Sorry, Clay. Sorry. So I always turn my client's hand and then file a little bit this way. And make sure that it's, it's good. I forgot about those. I hate cheap kiss brands. They're awful. I've never tried it, so I have no comment. I have never tried those before. All right, let me find out the tip. Hi, Zule. I'm new here. Your work is magnificent. Thank you. Um, Let's see. Where are you? Where? What? Where are you based? I am... Currently in my home, but I work out of Los Angeles, California. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. I'm taking the stupid hand off the clamp. My first acrylic experience was a sketchy kit with MMA monomer. Oh, I think we all started with that, huh? I think I did too, because I didn't know any better. Okay, so I'm just going to file the top part of the nail now. I didn't file this one very well at the here on the side. So there you go. My birthday's next month and my daughter asked me what I wanted. Birthday, your products were on top of my list. Ooh, yes, daughter. Come through. And then for Christmas, they better buy you guys some nail stuff instead of giving you something you don't want. Like family. We just want nail stuff. Invest in their business. What about acetone from Home Depot? I seen someone with that. What the hell? I don't even know if it's the same shit, to be honest. I have no idea, but go to a beauty supply. <laughs> go to a beauty supply, please. Um, for these nails, the nude color is Cover Pink Nude, and the glitter is called Yams. I'm in love with a Coco, or what the fuck is a, you right? Is that how the song goes? Something with a Lolo. Zule, did you get the package? No, girl. I went to my P.O. box yesterday and there was nothing. I was like, there's nothing yet. Right? You sent to my P.O. box? Zule, siempre me quitas el sueño. I was actually going to tell you to let me know when to go check because my husband just goes once a week. But we went yesterday in no había nada. I'm in love with the Coco. Got it for the low, low or something. Uh huh. So we're going to be like, I'm in love with, with Home Depot. They got acetone for the low, low. <laughs> the lady say you work in that orange, making me love orange. Yeah, I was telling them that this set was going to be dedicated to my friend Lori because she does not like orange. So we're going to make it rub onto you. Nah, just kidding. We're going to start singing. I'm in love with Zule. It's probably paint remover. She got everything on the low, low. So don't ask for no code. Just say that you broke. Eh. <laughs> I'm in love with Home Depot. I got it for the cheapo. <laughs> You're funny. At all. All right. So today my filing is going to be kind of like. I'm, I'm attempting. She a rapper. Yeah. I'm attempting to file like Drea. I like how her shaping comes out. You know, like. At the tip where it's like angled. I don't know if you guys can see it. It looks like more sharp. So that's what I'm attempting. I don't know if you guys see me over here. Over here fucking filing for days. That's what I'm trying to go for. I just don't know how to file like that. So I know it goes in an angle. You guys like my new remix? It stopped in customs for suspicious activity. Huh? Oh my god, Home Depot is not a nail supply. It's a late nail supply for real. I don't know who Dre is, but looks good. Dre nails! You don't know who she is, Persia? Girl, what do you mean? My nail girl does that. I don't know if I like it. Yeah, some of my clients don't like it. But it's like, it's going to keep your nails sharper for days, okay? If you guys like sharp nail, like you want it to look crisp. Um, then this is what 
what you're going for. I know I have clients who want their shape to be done, like, especially square nails, like for them to look sharp, sharp and feel sharp. This is the way. But if you don't like the sharp, sharp, then don't do that. Look. Oh, shit. Let me push it back in. So see how it's shaped like at the tip. So check it out. Once it's like this, it looks different. Like it just looks like a whole vibe. So what you're going to start, um, what is it called? When you start doing shit, it's going to um, dull down from here, but it's still going to look square. They do look it still, but the first days is weird. Some girls does it with your on-point disc. Oh, that's what I was attempting to do the other day, but I wasn't sure how to hold the hand. Now I feel like I kind of got the hang of it. I'm in love with Zulation. She gives me motivation. She's good at the cute. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Paige, you're funny. We're going to start singing that. Um, we're gonna need to do that as a voiceover. I'm in love with Zulation. <laughs> it says deliver 912. What? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go ask my post office because we've been checking and there was nothing. Oh, hell nah. They better not have put in the wrong one. When you doing your nails next? I'm not sure. I'll probably do them again. Probably on Thursday. I go to work tomorrow. So definitely not tomorrow. If it's a big package, maybe it's with them. If it was a big, usually they keep it. If it doesn't fit. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to go check like heller. Can you send me the tracking information so that I can send my hubby tomorrow? <clears throat> so if you pick your nose, they aim for you, friend. Uh-huh. So I'm just going to buff a little bit. Zule, wish me luck going live. Good luck, girl. Hello. Hello. So, for those of you guys, you know how I was telling you guys about the rings? She's right here. Yeah, accessories. You guys can follow her. Do you ever do fillings on your nails? Yes, I do. Very rarely, but I do. I have. I have done them. I don't do them very often, only because I want a complete different design. Um... She gives me motivation. Hold on, let me just file this one a little bit here on the side without ruining my hand. Okay. Let's clean the dust off. Thanks, Lay. No problem, amiga. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Tú nomás sin miedo, eh? Oh, my God. Now I just realized it was a practice hand. Mm-hmm. All right. Let me clean the nail really fast. Can I see your nails? Yes. Hold on. You've been going through real bad anxiety, girl. Hope you're doing better. I'm not sure what it's like to have anxiety. So I wouldn't know. Pero. Tomate. Fumate un churrito. Hello, Zule. Hi, Anna. Hi, Zule. Is that the new ready gonna hand? Yes. You know I had to come and show it off. You know it. Okay. So let me just twist the hand. 
we'll probably do a little flower around here you know like the basic shit the basic of the basic not my not my mail my iphone hates me did you use a scrub brush and alcohol no i only used a lint free wipe all right let's let me check my yeah definitely did not do it straightation is definitely not straight all right i'm gonna do a matte nail all right let's see i'm running out of monomer but i told my man to buy me that bling box from you first Ay, Jimena, dile, tú cómprame la caja del bling bling y yo me compro el monomer. Y te doy chupi chupi. So I'm going to do this nail matte only because I want to put glitter. I mean, it already has glitter, but y'all will see right now. So let me just be careful with the cuticle. I don't want it to get it on the, the skin. Because then my client here could be allergic and we don't want that, all right? We don't want that. Doesn't that look fucking fire already? Oh my god. I'm not sure if I should do the middle finger also matte. I don't know why, but I'm feeling the mattation today. Fuck it. Let's do a math. These are so cute, Zule. Thank you, royalty, nail supplies. What shape of nail should I do on my mom? Almond or square? Ugh, almond. I hate almond. Well, it depends. Does she have chunky hands? If she has, like, chunkier hands, I guess almond. That always complements the hand. But if she doesn't, then do square. Ooh, gold spider gel. You smart friend. I should probably do a little bit of that, huh? A little bit of Monica. Squat you iPhone is a whoa, 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 bitch. What the hell? What, what the hell, man? What you saying? Hi, Patrick. Hmm. So I'm using the velvet, no, the super matte no wipe. Um, you guys got this one on the scoops. They're saying hi, Patrick. He can't hear y'all. He could barely hear me with his earphone. Oh, okay. oh. then why are you not saying hi? You're ignoring us, rude. Don't interrupt, rude. So let me put my hand in my lamp. And yes, I am loving my lamp, guys. Whoever I tagged, I didn't mean to. Paige is getting into verbal altercations with her iPhone. Oh. <laughs> Let me go get my ring that I fucking dropped right now. He's being a little bad boy. Not responding to us. Zule, you should do a video on how you do flowers. Angel, I always do videos. What do you mean? Are you new to my channel? Are you new to my channel? Or to my, um, to my, um, my lives, I mean? How do you not over flood with top coat? Apply a little bit at a time and point your finger down. All right. Ooh, look at so pretty. I'm in love with the cocoa. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of dark champagne to the nail only because I've been waiting all year to use these. These are my favorite painting gels. If you guys haven't tried them, what the fuck you waiting for, bitch? You're going to love them. Trust me. So let me put the little ring back. Thank you, Patrick. 
bish you bish but if you just found my page okay i forgive you so i'm gonna be using my liner 25 mm which is the longest hair i have besides the one on my ass and just kidding just <laughs> Zulay, why would you say something like that? I don't know. I just thought it was funny. I'm I'm not even gonna take on my palette. I'm just gonna use this right now. Te paso, I know I just wanted to make somebody laugh today. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on here. And I'm just going to do a fringe. Now, I'm not a professional at these, but I still practice them. And these are no wipes. So once they go on the lamp, I mean, yeah. Once they go into the lamp and they're dry, they are good to go. Hold on, let me show you guys. Look at that. Wow. This is why I like matte nails sometimes. Because the gel, well, at least these, they just look extra nice on matte. So go run to the store, honey, because they about to be gone. Okay, so let's see. I'm just turning it around so I can see the other side. I'm thinking I'm going to start a new trend here. I'm just kidding. That's probably been out already. I don't know if I'm going to... Yeah, fuck it. Let me just do the whole thing. I was thinking maybe just to do one side for the mat and then leave the other side shiny. Huh, that's a thing? I just spit my water out. Why would you do such a thing, Paige? Why? 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 Looks cute with one, right? Kind of looks cool. I noticed my man be saying, wow, just like you. <laughs> um, they call me Kachow. And they call me, um, what the fuck is his name? The motherfucker, the car, the red car. They're like, wow. Wow. You know, like Lightning McQueen. Um, This one is the Dark Champagne Painting Gel. We have a seven colors. Of these painting gels that are fucking beautiful. I call them um, the golden hour. They are all beautiful in their own way. Again, I'm going to try to use them all. Um, I think I might just outline the whole orange. It's so beautiful. And they're super, super pigmented, so you don't even need two coats. Y'all, I love flitter. I don't fuck with the flitter. All right? I can testify. So freaking gorgeous. Like, I'm not sure if the camera is just capturing this or not. But they are super beautiful. Super freak. Super freak. I don't even know how to outline this part because it's like curvy. Fuck it, I'm just going to do it curvy too. <laughs> sexy, sexy nail for you, my friends. Hold on, let me show you. Wow. Oh my God, I don't know. I'm. I think I'm going to make the glitter shiny though. So maybe, or should I just leave it like that? So hard. So hard to decide. I'm just going to leave it like that. I should probably do like a line down the middle. like, And then add some bling. Or should I put a flower? Hmm. Make the glitter shiny. Leave it. 
I know I'm I'm trying to think if I were to make it shiny, it's gonna look weird. If I no, I'm I'm not even gonna try it. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna do a line down the middle on this one. Wish me luck. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm gonna add. I like it like that. Oh wait, wait, wait. Let me cure it before I fuck it up. Cause Zule does fuck shit up all the time. Alright, hold on. Um, you have my 16 month old baby saying, wow, <laughs> that's so cute. So cute. Que tamaño son tus uñas? Um, las que yo cargo son 3XL. The glitter acrylic is called, um, yams. Tia Sule. Yes, I'm a tia. Um, I don't have the gold spider gel in here, but I'll promise to use it on my next set. Sunset says hi. Hi. I got that one in my scoops. Or maybe I could put it on the pinky. I'll double check right now to see if I have it in, in a bin here. All right. So I'm going to do a line down the middle. And I always have to turn the hand around because I suck at straight lines. Or maybe I should do the straight line down the pinky. Chingada madre. I'm just gonna do it on this one. You can find everything that I'm using on my website. The link is on the bio. So I try to guide myself with the lines because, again, I do have twig eyes. Like, I see crooked. What glitter? The liner of acrylic. <laughs> Zule, have you ever done a full nail with the this um this gel? I have. I'll show it to you guys right now. I actually have a sample. Oh, damn. I, I didn't do the whole nail. Oh, I think I did it crooked. Oh, my God. Let me double check. Let me double check. Ooh, Zule. You don't play, my friend. <laughs> Girl. You don't know how happy I am. I actually did a semi-straight nail, honey, and the same thickness and all. I struggle so much with line work, guys. Y'all gonna laugh like, bitch, it ain't even that straight or whatever the fuck. But to me, it's progress, all right? I ain't even gonna touch it no more. Even if it's a little sideway to the left, to the right, I don't give a fuck. It's perfect to me. <sighs> honey, I could breathe now. So let me show you guys. Meanwhile, this dries. Let me show you the other gels. I have them right here in a swatch stick. Get in there, hen. So I actually have the gels right here. Wait, I think I'm missing one. One, two, three, four. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's one missing. I don't know where the other one went, but here is six of them. This one is the blondest one. It's called Golden Blonde. That one's the most yellow one. 
The second one is copper. Has a little bit more like orange undertone, brown. The third one is called light gold. Sorry, my fat finger is covering them. The, and this is one coat, I believe. I don't remember. I did them last year when I just released the collection. Um, then this one is called bronze. Rose gold. It's a little pinkish golden. Dark champagne. Oh, I know which one I'm missing. The pink one. Oh, here it is. It's in the wrong section. And then it's rose pink. So this is the seven golden hour collection. And I know there's a pink one, but I was like, I'm not going to separate it out of the collection because that's the way I wanted to sell it. Yeah, so these are the seven colors. And whenever you guys see things on my website, sometimes the color is slightly off because depending on the day and time that I took the picture, it varies slightly. So just know that always there is nicer in person. I'll try to update the picture because I got better at my photographing. So there it is. Let me clean this off my lid. And definitely, I mean, dark champagne, that's the one that I use. Wait, was dark champagne in there? I don't fucking remember now. Okay, so next. So this is already dry. does not need any top coat. It's not tacky. It will be perfect. I'm going to do a little flower action on this one. Only because I feel like you can never go wrong with a little flower. Like a little fall flower. I love, 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 love. Um, let's see. Let me find my bling. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my golden shadow colors. I kind of feel like I have um what is it called? Acid reflex or something? I don't know. So I'm gonna be using some Sulebling adhesive. And I'm gonna add the flower to this nail. Just, you know, your typical little side flower. You could, it never goes out of style. So we're just going to repeat it for whoever in here said they wanted a flower one. Here you are. I'm just using the Zule crystals in golden shadow. No Swarovski today because we can't just give it to Maria here. She's ruthless with these nails. All right. All right, honey. Ahí está. Zuley, que tranza. ¿Por qué, amiga? Tranza, ¿por qué? ¿Qué hice? Ahí está. Ahí está. El bling bling. I don't have anything smaller, so she getting... Oh. Maria's so heavy-handed. Yeah, she gonna lose it quick. Is Toxica jealous? I think so. She mad, man. She rolling on the floor right now. All right, so let me close my glue real quick. We'll be back to the glue. I love how she said how simple you're going to be in the beginning. They are going to be simple. I'm just going to glam them up just a little bit. Aquí ni, ni jale. Almost out. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, tu jale. Dije, yo que hice, mía? Yo que hice? All right, so I'm just spraying some glue activator. I'm using the Mia Secret one. You could use whatever you got, honey. I'm actually going to be releasing my own activator soon. I know I said that a while ago, but I've been lagging. Will you restock the activator? I am trying to get some more, but soon I'm going to have my own. In the meantime, Mia Secret activator. What is the gold on the thumb of your hand? That one is called Buchona. The glitter on my thumb is called Buchona Vibes. Can you show the glow in the dark acrylic? Which one? I have plenty. 
okay so let's see i'm gonna do it orange i'm gonna do the same orange yes it works without the activator but so here are my nails for whoever asked to see them the glue works without activator guys you don't need it but i do recommend it because let me tell you why because depending on what it, depending on the time of the year or what you're doing if you are using it over top coat if it's cold glue in general and a lot of things will take forever to dry so if the glue come becomes wet if the glue becomes wet before it is fully dried and sometimes you won't wet it yourself but in the air when it's cold there's little molecules and if you're gonna try to fight me bitch your water bottle where do the how does it sweat then huh nice nah, kidding um but you know there's little water molecules in the air that will wet the little fucking glue and it will start to turn white so if you guys have ever experienced that now you know what it is right so to fully dry the glue you spray the activator and it dries it pronto so the activator does not make it stick any better it just freezes it in place because i've seen somebody say like yeah it helps stick better like no it does not <laughs> it does not do that it just helps it dry it in place freeze it in place i like to use the activator because ain't nobody got time to be waiting for that shit to dry so for example in this situation right now where i'm doing the flower if i would have proceeded on doing the petals and my glue is still wet once i touch the petal with the tip of my bristles i'm gonna get it on my fucking brush you don't want that. You do not want to mess up your brushes. So it's really important for you to get activator. All right. Even with other glues, not just mine. So I did go ahead and add a little bit of acetone to my monomer. Only because um, that speeds up the dry time in acrylic. And when you're doing 3D flowers, they do tend to take a little bit longer. So it helps, you know, so that your acrylic is more ready, faster. Hola, Fernando. I am using a number six Kalinsky brush right now. Normally, I just use whatever is first in my hand. I just reach into my little thing and whatever comes out is what I get. Like, I have all my brushes sticking out right here next to my table. So I just reach for the first one and boom. I heard La Asistente in the background. That's way aquí no anda La Asistente. Ya la andas escuchando, Fernando. Ooh, maybe I should do some nude ones. Ooh, ooh. Hold on, guys. Let me see if I can find a beautiful nude. I do have one. Actually, the cover. Where is it? Cover highlight, cover sparkle, cover highlight. Where are you, my friend? Where are you, fucking color? I know you in here. I know you in here. I hate when I'm looking for a color, they hide from me. Oh, here. Here you are. Here you are. I wish I would have thought of this sooner. All right, so I'm going to use Cover Pink Highlight. Because it has like a little, a little flitter in it. Just to give my flower a little more, like, I don't know, make it a little different, you know, because we always do the same flower all the time. 
<clears throat> what fetal you use for the gold line? What flitter? Everybody talking the slang already? I use this one, the dark champagne. For foundation is violation. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to use a little bit of that um, cover highlight. Just to add a little bit of nude to the nail, to the flower. Just a little different. Bro, I'm getting on TikTok just to see if you're live. I'm here. And some flitter, you know. Like, this might be a little weird, but I don't know. I feel like it's going to look cute. And if it don't, well, too bad. Trust the process, guys. Trust the process. Esta noche, you'll, you'll make it look cute. You'll make it look cute. Uh-huh. We'll force it to look cute. Shit. It's funny because in every petal, a little orange glitter came through. Like this petal has a little bit of orange glitter from the yams. And then this one too. Your flowers are always bomb. Oh, thanks, thanks. It's starting to look like a little cornucopia up in here. Like, oh my gosh. I'm trying to think. I'm going to do orange in the middle. Um, The glow white pearl. I had it here the other day. Let me see if I can find it right now. I used it on my little ghost. What happened, Sylvia? The gold she used to make the line. Do yellow in the middle. Yellow. Did I say I was going to do orange or nude? Oh, well, I'm, I already put the fucking orange. No, 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 no. I'm going to do a nude. Waki laka taki, waki waki laka taki. No, I'm gonna do it nude. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a nude. How would I use the glow powders on Gel X nails? Um. Well, if you're doing gel extensions, then I would say try it like a dip method. But I don't know if they'll work like that. Or with 3D. I was thinking ombre the orange. I was thinking of doing the orange, but no, we got to do it different. It's got to be a little different than the usual. I'm going to put a little bit of orange in this, like a tad bit. So I'm making the petal kind of big. I know it looks a little weird. I know, I know. But weird is good. Different is good. Okay, hold on. I just want a little flitter in there. Now I'm going to make a tiny little petal at the, in the middle. Maybe put a little bit of orange color to highlight the petals. Stain it with alcohol ink. Okay, y'all getting hella creative up in here. Up in here, up in here. Ya me dio hambre la verga. Yes, these are fall. I'm taking a little break from fucking um Halloween. Ya me el Halloween. How do you get more comfortable doing your non-dominant hand? Just with practice. That's the only way it's gonna get better. 
I saw some clear flowers stained with alcohol ink and wow. Ooh, that sounds pretty. I shall try that next time. I never did my nails. Hi, Sylvia. Would the glow powders work if I shook it on the gel and then cure it under the lamp? I don't know. Try it and let us know. Yes, the flower is doing what it needs to do. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying something different. Um, because I always do the same thing with the flowers. So I was like, let me give them a double color. Since this is going to be shiny, I want the flower to stand out in some areas. So that's why I decided to put the nude with a little bit of glitter, you know. What glitter was used for the orange? Um, the orange glitter, the base of this nail is called yams. So this is where my idea came from, to put a little bit of nude to tie it together with that one. And then just a tad bit of little orange. And then I'm going to add a little bit of bling. Just a little bit. I'm so hungry. Do you put acetone in your monomer for the flowers? Yes, I do. Um, yes, I always put acetone unless the temperature is super hot, then I do not. Then I don't. I just leave. All right, so I'm going to add a little bit of bling to the nails because y'all already know me. I need some bling in my life. I know I promised somebody on YouTube that I would be simple. How simple? I don't know how how simple I can possibly be. But I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible. I do have a orange crystal. Let me see if that works. Oh, shit. Why would I use acetone? Because it helps dry the acrylic faster. I also use it for regular application sometimes. Some people will say don't do it. Girl, this is not simple. <laughs> okay, simple first delay. Super simple. Super freak. Super freak. All right. Let me see if this yet orange matches. <gasps> it does. Beautiful. So this color, I forgot what color it is, but it's on my part of my Zule crystals. The orange um. Hyanth, Hyanth, I don't even know how to fucking pronounce it. Hyanth, something like that. Next set will be this one. Thanks for the pick. And you're welcome, honey. I'm just going to put a little diamond. A diamond there. And these are 5mm, just in case you guys are wondering. Little ring, where are you going? Just a little color. A little bit of Monica. All right, I'm just going to put two little diamonds. They're not even little, but those are the smallest I got. So that's what you're getting, honey. These will be my November nails. Okay. Primis. They're so cute, huh? I use this for my scoops and my sets, and they were orange. Yes. That she used for the flower. Um, I'm not sure if you're asking for the colors, but can you do 3D with any acrylic? You should be able to. I do it. Um, Let's see. Should I add bling to the pinky? Uh. It's so hard to be simple. <laughs> Why did I promise to be simple? Let me just put a shape. <laughs> oh my God, it hurts. Um, This hand is from Red Iguana. I'm going to put a pair. This one's my favorite shape. Oh Lord, oh Lord. 
And again, these are not Swarovski. These are Zule crystals. So you guys can find these on the website. The link is on the bio. Do you sell the spray activator all the time? For the most part, I do have... Oh, wait. Did you sell or do you, you use the spray? I always use the activator. Always, always, always. But I don't have it in stock right now for you guys. No, that's too yellow. Bling in the pinky. Here it comes, guys. The moment we've been waiting for. <laughs> the bling bling. The bling a ling a ling. The simple, the new simple nail for real. Um, the gold line is I use the um, dark champagne. Dark champagne. Um, what is it called? Painting gel. So you guys can see right here, this bling is taking forever to dry because it is over top coat. So this is where your bling, your activator comes through to relax this crystal from drying so fucking slow. Oh my God, I fucking hate when it takes forever to dry, but some people just love it for some reason. Not I, not I. Let me try to spray it so it can slow the fuck down. Stop sliding around the fucking nail, you bitch. Listen to your master. If I say stop, when I say you move something, something. I don't even know how the fuck the song goes, but. Honey, relax. Boom, it's not simple no more. <laughs> uh, your activator failed you. No, girl, it stayed. <laughs> oh, let me make sure it's semi-straight. Okay, girl, it's semi-straight. Yeah, I don't have activator that much. It's a little bit, so it just sprays like a few little sprinkles. Um, these crystals are available on the website. The link is on the bio. They are under Zule crystals. Just forget about being simple. It's going to be a tad bit simple. I didn't say how simple, but it's going to be more simple than usual. Boom, I just brought out the big boys. Well, I tried, okay? <laughs> I try to be simple. It's not my fault. I can't. I just can't do it. I just can't do it, my friend. Like, if you guys don't like something, you could always remove it, okay? If you like this nail without the bling, you can totally recreate that. I tried my best, but I just have to add a little bit more. I have to. I won't be able to sleep tonight if I leave it like that. The attempt was there. That's all I can say. And then it doesn't help that I don't have smaller crystals. She means simple for Zule, but if she did, we'd be whining for her to add more. For real, y'all be like, no like for you. No bling, no like. Like, okay, bye, bitch. Um, I'm using my Zule bling adhesive. And since I did add activator right now, you have to be careful when you're adding more bling because it will dry your glue before that shit dry. I mean, before you put the crystal. So add more pronto. Pronto. Yeah, Zule is not simple. So I try, but I can't. Mis huesitos no me dejan. Let me see. Maybe I should add, um, ouch. I'm over here trying to scratch my head. And, um, me jale la greña. Do I have any more orange ones that are smaller? Let's get to 100K. Ooh, honey, we're almost done. No, these are not Swarovski, guys. These are Zule crystals. And they shine so pretty, huh? So don't doubt my quality, all right? Do not, I do not play with my bling. I love bling. All right, I'm just gonna add something more to this one. Fuck it, thug life. I wish I had other little shapes, but I don't. I'm not in the golden color. Not, nothing smaller. 
So I'm going to add a little gold one down here. I mean orange. Zule gold caviar will be popping. Oh, you're right. You know what would be better than gold? Rose gold because we do have a little lighter gold in here. You're right. Thank you for reminding me that I have that. Let me pop it out right now. All right. Ma'am, straighten up the hand, please. I don't want to come back right now and your bling moved everywhere, all right? Or else you're gonna get slapped, bitch. Ooh, what would you do if your nail tech told you that? Like, you better not fucking move, don't fucking scratch your head, don't do shit. As a matter of fact, I'm just not gonna get the caviar because I already know when I come back, everything's gonna slide away. That's why you need activator. You need activator in your fucking life. Don't be a stingy bitch. Don't be a stingy bitch. Just go get it. Oh my god, guys. I have more shit. Oh my god becky look what i found oh my god i forgot i had this becky yeah you done almost becky why you want ice cream or something no. i don't open this shit i forgot we have these crystals so i really 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 wanted a little um i was gonna call it a spicy one a pointy one. Oh my gosh honey a little raindrop oh my lord another box of bling oh my big surprise <laughs> look at me being a hater <laughs> look pagiation we're blingiation right now okay we're blingy 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 let me hide this one before i try to add more I try, I try so hard. Como la canción. Okay. And so I'm gonna use these, a few of these. Um, Are all these your products? Yes, ma'am. Go to the rhinestone section on my website and you will find it. Even the acrylics, tips, brush, everything, honey. The only thing I don't got is the hand. This one is from RedIguana.com. Code Zule for 10% off. Go bling or go home. You are right. So let's see how, how much of a difference these balls really make. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They really look extra gorgeous. Zule, what is the big pear shaped diamond under? Um, they should be under Zule crystals, but let me check right now for you. Because so, I don't remember sometimes. <sighs> let me check. Let me check. Um, let me show you. I tried to put the stuff together. So let me have my phone here. I tried to um, put everything together because I don't have a lot of space. So we're going to go to crystals, rhinestones. I mean, rhinestones. I need to change it to crystals. So you're going to go through the category. And the, let me see if they're in under here. The new Zule crystals. I don't know if they're in here. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're going to be under the new Zule crystals. So the chaton ones are here and the flatbacks. So right here, I just show you the two different colors that are under this category. Golden shadow and that one. So you're going to click the drop down menu. And if they say chaton or pointed back, that means they have a pointed back. If they don't, like the hunk wheel, AB rhombus, the square, the run over, the AB pair flat, they're flat. 
If they say chaton or fancy, that means they're pointed back. Like the, the picture. And these are pointed back. All right. So these are flat. Obviously, you could tell they're flat. I hope you could tell. Yeah, that caviar makes it look like jewelry. So pretty much, I'm just going to add a few little balls to um, the little parts of the nail where I wish I had a bling that was small enough to fit. But I don't. So I don't do small bling. I'm just kidding. I'm working on getting some small crystals for you guys. I hate small bling. Did you restock on the... Ch oh, yes, I did. I accidentally put only one. My dumbass put... I only had one box. And I noticed that the other day. And I'm like, the fuck? They sold out already? I didn't see the orders. I only saw one in the orders, you know? Because sometimes I look at the orders in my phone. And I fixed it. So you guys can um, go buy the chaton box. All right, so I'm going to add a few little ones down here just because we're extra. I'm going to do them babies. Extra, extra. Bling it out. Zule. Um, What are the little ones called? What little ones? The regular crystals? The regular crystals or the what? What little ones? Sorry, I was not paying attention. All right, so I'm going to do two little balls here. The stand. Bye-bye. Too much bling. Say what? <laughs> little gold one. Oh, the little balls? They are caviar beads or metal beads, whatever you want to call them. I'm watching Zulay in stereo. I have a YouTube plane and watching live. Gotta support the queen. Ooh, thank you, my friend. Thank you. You are a true one. All right. Fuck this simplicity. We need to add this somewhere. I didn't take it out for no reason. It needs to go somewhere. They are called porcelation beads. <laughs> That's funny. I swear, Paige, you cracked me up, girl. I don't know if I should add it to the... Oh, yes. Or that one. Or both. I think I'm added to the index finger. We just got to. We just got to. Upgrade it. Well, that pinky looks very lonely. Don't worry. We'll get to the pinky right now. So I just put a little bit of glue because it's matte. So I want it to stay matte. This bitch don't do shit. So she don't need too much glue on it. Now you can leave the pinky plain. Ah, verdad? Ahora si quieren el plain. Poor pinky. Got no love. Gonna love. Oh, yes, you're right. I could do the spider gel on the pinky. It technically is not bling, but it's gonna feel like bling. All right, and I'm gonna add a little bit of Monica in my life. I'm gonna put a little gold. <clears throat> Hmm, should I do that? No, 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 no. I'm not going to do that one. I'm going to put a gold one. It's like, fuck the line. Ya ni se va a ver la pinche line. Like, nomás la puse de diseño así para guide me to make a straight line. Valeo pura verga. All right, there. 
está sin nada, Zuleida, sin nada. Ya te pasaste, mija, ya te pasaste, Nico. Ya te pasaste, amiga, ya cubriste el arte. Oh, well, oh, well. Well, at least you guys got to see it in action. Fuck it. It was just to hang out with y'all. All right, let me see if I have the... The, 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 the Spidey. Spidey gel para la amiga aquí. Um, the gel line, I used the dark champagne. So I guess to make myself feel better, I only did the line so that there could be more glitter. Okay. That's my defense. All right, let me put this to the side real quick. Meanwhile, I find my spider gel. Um, I'm going to get it in. In the clear gold, clear gold. Where are you, my friend? Let's see. Oh, yeah, I have one. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right, hold on, guys. I'm going to go get a glitter really fast. I'll tell her tomorrow. Alright guys, I'm back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Alright, so I have the gold reflective spider gel right here. It is like a clear spider gel. Fuck, I can't open it. And it has like a little bit of flitter in it. But... I like to upgrade it with more flitter. Did you pay for that? Of course not. <laughs> she was like, let me read the comments. Let me read the comments. What she say? The <laughs> thiefalation? Back in the storm, telling the balls, I just checked and it sold out. But the solid orange, anyone knows? Straight stealing. For <laughs> well, real, she's going to shop in her store. I'm going to go five finger discount. Did you pay for that? Hell yeah. Don't read the. <laughs> Regina, me, pam. Oh my God. You're going to have me thinking of that shit now. Okay, guys, so I went to steal from myself the reflective diamond powder in gold. We do, some of you guys got this in your scoops. I don't know if you got gold, silver, or blue, but I went to get the, the gold one only because it goes well with this. So the spider gel has a little bit of glitter, but watch, y'all, we'll see. Y'all will see, honey. Okay, let me get something to do this spider action. 
Oh, I see. I told y'all. Mm -hmm. I always steal from myself, from my store, everything. All right, so let me mix it real good. So it's like transparent and it has really little glitters in there. Hold on, let me open it up. I got blue, so now you'll know what you're going to use it in. All righty. All right, let me get my hand down. So now I'm going to give you um, ideas how to use it, okay? Oh, shit. If you guys got this clear spider gel, you guys could use it like this if you want to, but that's up to you. It looks really nice. Hold on, let me make it less thick. Pretty much anywhere where I put this little thing, you can't see it right now, but it's there. Let me clean the bottom. So let me show you guys. Is there, okay? So I'm gonna stick it in the lamp. Ah, oh, shit. Ma'am, Maria, don't put your fingers straight. Don't put it together, please. All right, let me put in the lamp over here on the side real quick. Ma'am, open your fucking fingers, bitch. Oh, the bling glue? Yes, hold on. It's this one. This hand is from... I was going to say from Maria. It is from my website. I mean, I'm... <laughs> the spider gel is from my website, but not the hand. I wish. It's from Red Iguana. All right. So, I'm going to use this flitter. You could sprinkle it on the nail if you wanted to, but I'm going to try to rub it on. Last time I sprinkled it. This time, I'm going to attempt to rub it. I'm more than positive I could do that. Ooh, honey, you see that? Oh my God. Ooh, la la, honey. Wow. Oh my God, where'd that come from? It's like magic. Oh my gosh. So pretty much wherever the spider gel is at is where it's getting stuck, okay? And we're going to seal that in with top coat right now. My husband named one of my hands Manuela. I know Manuela la de él. Manuela. Juana. All right, let me take off the excess. Damn, now Maria's all shiny. Look at her. We're almost done anyways. Yours is Cheryl. Cheryl. All right. Let me. I was going to clean it, but then I'm going to take out the flitter. All right, guys. Tap as fast as you can. So I'm going to be using my Zule top coat to seal in my flitter and to make this one shiny. Mine is Bethany. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to shine it up. I'm only going to put top coat to the index finger and the pinky. I mean, the ring finger and the pinky. I'm still trying to decide if I should do the index finger, the chunky glitter, shiny. Minus carnation. Oh, como la flan. I feel like I am going to put shiny because, ma'am, this flitter is too cute to be matation. Let me clean the little fucking shiny I got on here. This hand is from Red Iguana. They will be releasing tomorrow, so you guys could go get one. Use code Zule at checkout to save 10%. All right, so, ooh, honey. This hand is actually also color 
Um, what the fuck was the name again? We already changed her name. It started with an N. Who can remember the name? Nicole. Nicole. It was Nicole. But we named her Maria. Yes, we sell the spider gel. It should be in the gel polish category. Even though it's not gel polish, but technically it is. Alright, so I have decided I am going to put shiny on this side of the French. I cannot just see that beautiful flit up matte. Is that flitter actually glitter? Making sure, yes. <laughs> well, I don't really know what the girl meant in the thing. Um, I'm not sure she meant to say filter or flitter. Oh, so the spider gel has a reflective glitter. When you put the light, it only shows. It's really, 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 really fine. That's why I put more flitter because that was not enough. All right, so let me put a little bit of shiny on this side because I won't be able to live with myself if I leave that side matte. Yeah, so there was this girl on online that said it ain't no flitter it ain't no flitter but i wasn't sure she meant like it's not a filter it's not glitter or whatever the fuck she was saying i was like mm. so i kind of like it now so i just say that for glitter it ain't no flitter click so hard it made me leave glitter plus filter flitter yes yes honey all right that just looks extra better The best fall nails I have seen so far, Zule. Woo, yeah. All right, honey. Let's put these to bake. I think it is meant filter, but it works both ways. Mm hmm I love that little word now. So it's my BFF. All right. Time to bake, ma'am. Get in there. No, you will not get skin cancer in that lamp. This is an LED lamp, not, not L U. Uh, what is it called? I can't even talk no more. Not a UV lamp. Is that a ready water hand? Yes, this is going. This is the new ones that are coming out tomorrow. Um, and this is what you call simple. <laughs> uh, yeah, a little bit. It was supposed to be simpler, but it got out of hand, like always, you know. What color is the orange color acrylic? Okay, so let me show you. Where did I leave it at? It's here. I know it's here. Oh, it's right here. Hold on. Let me clean the gel on here. So, check it out. It's this one, but it doesn't look like it, right? It's number 109. That's why we never go with what we see in the jar. On the camera, it looks actually darker, but in person, it looks so light. Like, what the fuck? Did I get catfished? Like, no. So, this is number 109. This is a color I use today. And then the flitter is... Um, where did I leave it at? I have all these colors that I was going to use right here. It's yams. Thank you. Do I have that from my scoops? I'm not sure. I don't remember. I need to look. Maybe I'm sleeping on it. <laughs> it has pumpkin spice vibe in the jar. Mm -hmm. Very, very delicious, huh? Okay, my hand is ready. Hold on, let me fix her rings because they moved all over. I'm in love. Next time I want some nails, I'm going to say I need simple ones and show your set. <laughs> yeah, so for the thumb, somebody asked me for the thumb. If I were to do this on a client, obviously they're not they're not extra like Zule. I feel like take off the bling and the flowers and this and it will be a perfect set. 
I will do the thumb probably solid to match or or I will flip them around a little bit like I'd probably do this nail on the ring finger as well like two of those and then I would keep um this one and the middle finger and then the pink and the thumb could be solid that was a great way too or you could do flitter on the you know ring finger and thumb flitter you know to keep it kind of simple but what do you guys think what do you guys think oh all of a sudden people joining the ones were done huh what the fuck where were you guys all oh wait let me clean my bling love the flitter love the flitter so again this hand is from ready guana they are gonna be released tomorrow what time i don't know and then another pretty set also like super super simple if you don't want all this craziness you could just do this one solid this one solid your thumb solid glitter and that and boom you got a simple set you know or this one could just be solid solid flitter flitter or ombre whatever you like honey me do for you but this is something i would wear so i guess that's what i always do this all right let me show you guys a little zoom in Um, which nails your favorite? Now I know the little glitters all over here. Maybe I should try to remove it. Slay. This hand is a red iguana hand. Red iguana under red underscore iguana. I tagged her on my Instagram. De que número? Um, estas son dos dos x. En una forma sería como un size 12. Love them. I would wear them. Mine is a big stone. Totally understandable. You can definitely wear them without the big bling. Maria always complaining about something for real. She's like... Can you take off this flitter from my hands? Like, I don't want it to go into my eye. Like, you know what, bitch? We want you to get blind so you don't see your crooked nail. <laughs> I can pick one the center. The middle one's your favorite? Yeah. She requested for me to do the middle finger with the bling so she could flip off her haters. That's what she requested. So that's why we couldn't do simple no more, you know? We cannot do simple. All right, so how do you get the glitter off? What do you use to clean it? Well, once the client washes their hand, it will come off. Or you can try using alcohol, but most of the time, glitter is stubborn. So you have to wash your hands a couple times and it'll come off. Love you, Maria. She said that if you love her, to send her some money for her next set. Ooh, Maria, girl, you naughty. Don't touch them like that. You just met them. What you use to make the art name of the tool? I use several tools. We use 3D brush. We need liner. Did you use something to hold the hand out? Yes. So ready guana. I don't know if this is new or not, but I've never I had never bought a um oh, it doesn't want to come off now. She has a stand. Um it this one is a magnetic one, so the hand does come with um two little magnets so it's all dusty and shit because you know i've been filing for days so it gets stuck and i do recommend the hand the stand actually y'all seen it in action today this is my first time me trying a magnetic hand plus magnetic um holder it worked perfectation the hand didn't fall off you guys saw what color did you use with the spider gel? I use the reflective diamond powder in gold. So let's see what it looks like with the light. Let's see. 
is my lamp on my light on i mean i'm not sure if you guys could see the effect or maybe i have too many lights going on it doesn't show so i'm gonna try to turn the lights off when i record the video so you guys could see the little reflectiveness my hand don't have magnets yeah the new versions do yeah so here are my nails all right we're at 100k already thank you guys everyone it was nice hanging out again i'll be back on thursday i hope you guys like this tutorial today i know it wasn't as simple as i promised or i was hoping but i got a little excited because i love orange Hi, Zule. It's Betty Danda. I can't wait for my chaton box. Hey, girl. It's on its way. I hope you love it. So beautiful. Did I me encanto. Where'd you get your hand? This hand is from... Oh, let me show you the paper. Here's her information. Rediguana.com. They will be releasing tomorrow, um, and you can use this discount code Zulay, Z-U-L-A-Y, for 10% off. So she has fingers, she has hands. This is the finger she sent me, the same color, Nicole. Very, very beautiful. So if you want one finger, there are 20 cookies. Do you want the whole hand? I think it's, somebody said it was 89 cookies. But with discount, honey, cheaper for you, okay? Don't forget Zulay, Z-U-L-A-Y, discount, okay? Or if you have another friend that has a discount code, you can use hers. Whatever you like to save some coin. I have to make another order. Okay, guys. Well, I'm off to record this so I can post my content. Um, but I'll see you guys on Thursday. Don't forget, I'll be doing my nails. I don't know if I should do them pink because Portia did make me one pink or orange Cosmos decisions decisions i don't know i think i'm gonna do orange i love orange i love it all right bye everybody is that hand stiff no it's not it's like literally jiggly like a penis like, <laughs> spooky spooky pink 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 what's the code again just my name zule not zule's nails zule my name, Zule. That was more like a turkey hunt. Like, Así la hacemos al chupi chupi. All right, bye everyone. See where your mind is at. Me? No, you, honey, you. All right. Bye, everyone. Oh, my God. Did I file my fucking ring? How did the file get up there? All right. Bye-bye, everyone. Sweet dreams. See you later, alligators. Don't forget to go show me some love on my Instagram or else I'm a blockation. I love y'all. Ooh, drop the mic. Bye, Asian, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye bye everybody. Let me give you guys a little zoom in real quick before I go. Bye bye. Wow. Let us see the thumb. It doesn't have a thumb. It just comes with four fingers. This one does not have a thumb. All right. Bye. Oh my mine. my nails they're a little crusty especially that one that one's always crusty and then this is my nails my crusty asian nails i always crusty because i'm always using my hands all right bye everyone Una noche más. Y copas de más, tú no me dejas en paz, de mi mente no te vas.